Oh, oh Jesus Christ, Crossy, that's the fish. That's the fish, that's the fish. Oh, he's in that log. Get him out of that log. Get him out of that log. Go net him, go net him, go net him, go net him. Okay, okay, okay. Bring him to you, bring him to you. That's a nice fish. Dude, that's a nice fish. Yeah, get him back. Tradition. What's a tradition? Before this trip, I found myself gripping at memories like building blocks, trying to somehow put all these pieces together. A tradition just doesn't happen. You gotta have the right conditions. You need the right people, you need the right places, and most of all, you need a common goal. In this case, well, <laughs> fish. Seems pretty simple, right? But life it always seems to be getting in the way of that. Bills, friends, work, kids, spouses, the damn dog. Ugh, you know what I mean? But somehow, and certainly against all odds, old Kowalski and I have managed to make it happen. My old college roommate and I have been at it for a long time, whether we realized it or not. It all started with the juicy farm ponds just outside of Lawrence, Kansas, but it wasn't until after graduation that the actual meat hangs started. The first meat hang took place over in eastern Idaho. This was, well, <laughs> well before fly all season, but man, it would have been a good one to capture because by all accounts, it was epic. Now, fast forward a year to meat hang 2020, you might remember that one a little bit better. Does the real grind sound familiar? <laughs> we brave the Rio Grande Gorge and almost let the gorge get the best of us. By the end of it, we could hardly distinguish whether we were almost dead or barely alive. But we left with some of the most amazing stories to tell. Meeting 2021, this was it. This was the nail in the coffin. Third time's a charm, as they say. The meat hang has transcended from a mere fishing trip to an established event. A tradition. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Meat Hang 2021. Hey, it's Alex with Fly All Season. It's September 1st, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. About to leave for New Mexico. We're going to go do some fishing. So we made it through the terminal. So now we're just waiting on the flight. I got here a little early, got like an hour wait. And then we'll be in New Mexico. So we'll see you then. It's like 3 a.m. How far do we gotta drive? Three and a half, three, depending on the speed limit. Yeah, so. Great first day of me hang, let's go. I'll punch it, baby, don't you worry. Let's go! <laughs> While Kowalski and I get our tired butts up and out of Albuquerque, I think that it's only fair to give a little context to this whole adventure because this sort of trip, it's not, it's not as simple as jumping into the truck and finding some water. No, there are a ton of things that go on behind the scenes with regards to planning and prep to make everything come together. And unlike most other meat hangs in the past, this was going to be 100% backpacking. We couldn't rely on the truck for our gear or for our tent. So the logistics of something like this, they are never easy, especially <laughs> when we both live a couple hundred miles away. But I digress. Kowalski and I, we were headed straight north to do some fishing in Southern Colorado. And for those of you who may be unaware, this little corner of heaven is home to some incredible fishing. So with cloudy skies and clear roads, we made it to our destination in no time flat. It's what, se seven o'clock? It's seven. Seven o'clock, where, where, where are we? Oh, shh, we can't say. 
We can't we can't tell you. Somewhere deep in Colorado. Dude, why are you spot burning? You can't uh, say Colorado. Yeah, I think so, sorry you guys on YouTube. We're, we're spot burning. We're, we're in Colorado. Ruin it for you guys, but fuck. It's it's time. Let's go fishing. We got what? Like a 20 mile hike, probably 50. Gonna get it here in a couple hours, so. Roll the B-roll. It's got like that little, like, little morning mist to it. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a vibe right it's now. It's a vibe. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hmm. Well, I don't know where we uh, sign here. I guess they'll never know that we uh, we hiked in. Oh well. Going through the cows, That's through that I gate. Remember that fence. Yeah. Well, looks like we got some company on the trail this morning. You guys got to move. We got to get through that. Gotta move. move. Come on now, get. Right, just like that was so derogatory. Get. Go on, get. Just a bunch of big dumb dogs. Found shelter for the night. Someone left us a really, really nice log cabin. That's a hotel, brother. The Meat Hang Hotel. <laughs> Let's go. Just kidding. We're not actually staying there. We still got like five miles to go, so continue the B-roll. Oh no, I gotta kind of cover that so the people in the YouTube comments don't yell at us. No spot burning, yeah. No spot burning. <laughs> in we're pretty close to where we're gonna set up camp and uh, we're gonna get some lunch get camp set up then it's game time then it's game time let's go let's go we're gonna go catch some fish just getting some sweet b-roll of this whistle pig oh there's more I think this is gonna have to do, man. I'm sure we can make it work. Good shit. Holy oh, shit, man. Ten miles in. I cannot tell you how good some dry, warm clothes feel. It seriously kinda it kinda feels like fall out here. <laughs> but we grubbed down, got some food in the bellies, and now it's time to make camp. Alright, well, camp is pretty much made. Mike's rigging us up to go fishing. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go catch some fish, but before that. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little camp tour. We got our campfire. It was the pit was kind of already there when we showed up, which was really nice. Just saved us a little bit of work. Got the nice log set up. Also already there. Also already there. Got our tent set up. A nice flat piece of ground. Then we also got our gear tent. A bunch of dried wood, cut wood. And then obviously our gear. Hence the name gear tent for those of you all stars out there but yeah man this is this is the setup that we got for the week not bad meet, meet hang 2021 we're off to a cheeky start <laughs> enough bs time to fish we quickly suited up and made our way down to the creek And I will say, it didn't take us long to find fish, which was a good sign, but it might have been a slightly misleading sign for the rest of the day. Guys, you gotta 
body on it. Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. Well, there he goes. That guy right there. Simple terrestrial. Pink. Black I like it. And that tricked him, man. <laughs> getting the getting the jitters out. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Kowalski, did you see that? Yes. Holy sh holy shit. Oh dude, nice. Leave that, leave that, leave that. That's your target, dude. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was a big fish. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Let that ride. Let that ride. Ready? Oh. Set the hook. Oh. oh, that was it, dude. Yeah, that was him. Oh, Just a little brown guy. Beautiful fish though, man. He he is so speckled up and spunky. Not a bad guy. We'll let him back. No. <laughs> See you, buddy. Update. The hike, getting up at 3 a.m. Starting to kick in. Mike's tired. I'm tired. We got some water in the system. Ate There's some cliff bars. Out. Might take a nap. I don't know. We'll see. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a little mayfly. They've been they've been dodging our big boy hopper. I think it's time to switch up to something a wee bit smaller. God, that's so good. There we go. There we go. That's a post nap brown baby. <laughs> nice little fish. Came up and smacked our rainbow warrior. Here, buddy. We can't quite tell what they're eating on the surface, but it seems like there's bigger fish rising. It's just not for our ant. We switched up, not for our little little, little uh, mayfly guy, so we're trying to figure something out. We'll get there. It's a good drift. It's a great drift. That's right where they've been. First fish of the day, baby. Yay! <laughs> Skunk is off. It's a close up on him. Very nice, man. We got our first fish of the day. <laughs> Only took a couple naps, but Woo! we'll let him go. Bye, friend. Bye. I miss you. Fishy nux, Fishy man. Nux Skunk is me. off. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, Kowalski. That's the fish. That's the fish. That's the fish. Oh, he's in that log. Get him out of that log. Get him out of that log. Oh, my God. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Do you mind if I go net him? Go net him. Go net him. Go net him. Go net him. Okay. 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 Bring him to you. Bring him to you. That's a nice fish. Dude, that's a nice fish. Yeah, dude. Let's go. That's fish. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Dude, that's freaking it. right. Yes. Let's go. Donkey time, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can go home now. First fish, second fish. <laughs> oh, that was pure panic. That is the biggest fish I've ever caught. The biggest trout I have ever caught. That's a nice freaking fish. Oh. Dude. <laughs> That's a nice fish. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. <laughs> we got our chunk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, Kowalski, that's Yo. a flipping tanker. Yes, let's go, man. Ah, oh. Thank you, fish guys. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I'm pumped, man. <laughs> Made the miles worth it, right? No, you go. Ah, <laughs> let's go. Let's go down. Go. <laughs> that was uh, sick, man. Week is made. Well, but it's week just started, Kowalski. Just started. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. It's gonna feel great. That's the one like I've been wanting like the last three years. Okay, okay. Once, let's once, let's let's bring it to the tripod. Here, here. Come on over here. Come on in. I'm here with Alex Kowalski. Just caught a big brown trout. Kowalski, can you tell us how you caught that fish? Well, see, I took the fly and I threw it in the water, and then 
the fish took the fly, and then I set the hook, and then we netted him. There you have it, folks. Back to you, future Mike. Just kidding. Let's get a breakdown of this rig, kind of top to bottom. And this is really, this is the one that's been catching all our fish. So let's let's start top to bottom. I'll, I'll do camera work here. As usual, with most of my rigs, we're running a dry dropper, but not just any dry dropper, an adjustable dry dropper. Kowalski, can you demonstrate for the people? You know, it's pretty nice. You take, you take him like this, and then he just slides down the line. So, which is really nice for if you need them in a deep pocket, you slide it up. You need them in a shallow pocket, you slide them back down. It's pretty handy. The guy that came up with it, pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> but actually, hooked the fish on. That little dude right there is what we've been, what we've been actually, the only thing we've been catching them on all day. Just a subtle mayfly pattern, and it, it does a good job of cleaning up the bottom. <sighs> what was the 10 excite? Uh, that was like 10 excite. That's the biggest. <laughs> I don't get that much trout fishing in, you know? I live in Kansas. We don't like. They don't have, have trout in Kansas? They have trout, but it's like, you know, lake stocked Ugh. trout. Those don't Yuck. really count. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we don't really have trout. I can catch mostly like bass, bluegill, channel cat. Um, Not so big old donkey browns like that, buddy. We don't catch a bunch of donkey browns. So, <laughs> that the last three years, I've been, I've been searching for the chunk on the meat hangs and. We finally got our chunk. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Dude, that's so hype. That's so good, dude. Oh. There we go. Yes. No. You see that Neo Matrix dodge? I saw that stick about okay, killing me. Show me the fish. This is a Yeet Master 3000. See ya. Let them go so they can grow. Yep. Let them grow. Do you think anyone would mind if we spot burn this cool stick spot? Oh, dude. We're not talking about the trout, it's just the stick. Good stick spot, though. Some guy on, some guy in the YouTube comments will still probably be mad that you burned a stick spot. Dude, that's where I get all my sticks, thanks a lot. No, everyone's gonna come to take my sticks. Oh, that was a decent cast. Can't see the fly? I'm having trouble seeing it. Give it another, give it another casty boy. Okay, I can see. It. I got eyes on. I can see it. I'll scream. Oh! Ah! Ah! I remember Mikers. Oh! Ah! I tell you what, folks. Frustration. <laughs> it was starting to mount. We were looking at the fourth quarter of our first day here in Colorado. I tell you what, I was not bringing my A game. <laughs> I missed a lot of opportunities and I was starting to get a little bit frustrated. So it was time to calm down, take a deep breath and re-rig. We needed to get, we need to get ourselves situated for this last little push to get on. Well, hopefully some nice fish. Nada. I'm just gonna make it a little bit deeper. If only there was some sort of invention to where you didn't have to completely de-rig. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a file season adjustable dry dropper. Oh my god. Oh. What an incredible invention. Link in the description. Oh my gosh, plug, plug, plug. All right, great camera work going on here. Absolutely excellent tape. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, buddy. No, 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 no. Fight him, fight him, fight him, fight him. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Oh, yeah, baby, you can't get away from me there. Shit, you can't. Oh, I'm so screwed up. Oh, no. Do you mean a net? Uh, I think I get him. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. Michael. Uh, yes, dude. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes. Dude, it, look at. Oh, I was so screwed. That was stuck like a mother. Ooh. Woo! Oh, let me get a shot on that boy. That's a boy right that there. That is a boy! <laughs> Let's go! That's sick. That is a nice bit. That was a fantastic catch. <laughs> I do this a lot. Well, Kowalski had himself a good old little, little Texas rodeo, and I thought, Texas toast sounds pretty good. So, I had to get me a big old slice, a Texas toast with some butter.
And that is the result, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the adipose on that thing. That is an old, wild fish. That's a beauty. That's a beauty, Judy, man. Golly, Jones. Are you seeing back? I see him back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye, sir. See you, Texas Toast. Until next time. Oh, let's go, dude. That's what's nuts. up. <laughs> Woo! Man, what a day. What a day. <laughs> Well, it looks like this scouting mission, first day of meat hang, whatever you want to call it, is officially over. Kowalski and I both got some chunks. I'd say that's a big win, big dub for the boys. Big dub. And I think it's time to hike back. We got tired legs and hungry stomachs ready for a little fire and sleep action. So with that, man, let's freaking get after it. Let's go. Let's go. Well, we made her back to camp. Back in camp. Well, what do we got to do? We've got two things to do before we can lay our sweet heads down and go to bed. First and foremost, get this fire started. And I know fire is a very taboo thing out, especially here in Colorado, but throughout the West, I called the local ranger department, got full confirmation that there are no fire restrictions. And quite honestly, it's wet. It's, it's it's soaked here. It rained pretty hard before we got there. Wow, I'm getting the fire all situated. We gotta get some food going. We have some amazing peak refuel meals and I'm, I'm so excited. So let's get after it and get We have get We haven't going. ate much all day. Just like a cliff bar. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Folks, the elk are bugling, our fire is popping, and I think we have two very tired fishermen. <laughs> it was a very long day. We hiked about 10 miles, heavy Top. packs. Uphill. But Just. we caught some chonks today, so it was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it, and if you guys are interested, we're gonna have five more days of this. Yeah, we're gonna be out here for at least five more days. So if you wanna stay tuned for more action, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification button. Yep. And stay tuned, cause we're gonna be dropping a lot more action. Hopefully it'll be good. Thanks for sticking with, and we'll see ya. Tight line. In the next one. Ah, bye. These things are really hard to chew when they're cold. <laughs> Good morning, Kowalski. Good morning, Michael. <laughs> it's meat egg day too. Let's go catch some fish. Yeah, dude. Wait, my coffee's already up. I mean, there's mine and I'm cold. <laughs> One word to describe how this morning was going would be slow. The sunshine is poking through the trees and we decided to kind of cut the morning BS out of the way. Kowalski and I have gotten breakfast, coffee. We're all suited up, ready to go. So nothing left to do then hit the trail. Hey, the fish, what do you think? I'm ready. Let's do this. Nothing can quite compare to that morning hike in. You know what I mean. The anticipation of the day's events, it's like playing a massive game of tug of war in your mind where excitement and anxiety pull at each other and really get that imagination going. On our brief hike in, that morning glory had quickly turned into a warm sun and it was heating up the entire valley quite nicely. So first thing on the docket was to, of course, shed some layers, cool off a little bit. And I would say <laughs> the second thing we had to do was answer the most pressing question of the morning. Who's going first? All right, let's shoot for it. All right, bet. Yeah. You can really get up around the bend. Nice. The excitement of the morning bite certainly seemed to slow down when we couldn't help but notice that there wasn't much action going on. So it was time to shift game plans a little bit, do a change up of the flies and maybe move a little further upstream. Oh! Fuck. How's 
a nice fish. Tell me how you feel right now. Bad, big bad. Actually, I feel pretty good. That's a nice fish. Oh my god, it's so fat. We're looking at a bent out rainbow warrior on a chunky, chunky brown. That was touch and go. Cast it in there, hooked one. Just a heartbreak, just a, oh, one of those. Came off and you know, usually that's a telltale sign. Let's get back up there, move on up to another run. I don't know why, but I was like, fuck it, man. Screw it, let's just cast one more time. Bombed her on up there and Chonker Chonkerson came out to play. I really, I think this might be a pre-spawn female. The dims on this thing are unbelievable. Let's, let's take a look at her. Look at the belly on that fish. That, I think she is actually just full of eggs. It is early September here in the high country and these fish are getting ready for the spawn. But man, is that gorgeous or what, man? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what do you think? Let her back? Let's let her back. All right, man, let's and go. And she is off. Let's freaking go, baby. Skunk Woo. is off for the day. What up, 60? Hey, don't do that. You're spooking the fish. You're spooking the fish, man. What? Why walk in the water? She's just going to walk in the river. Why? <laughs> Cows are so dumb. So, Mike, why are there so many cows here? Well, if you didn't know, the Forest Service and the ranchers will create a nice little contract and they'll let the cattle open range in a beautiful place like this. Oh, that's cool. Well, did you know that over 50% of Fly All Season viewers aren't subscribed? So if you like this content, hit that little button below. It helps us a lot. Thank you. That's it, that's it, let it drop. Oh, dude, that might be a rainbow. Good throw. Is it Cuddy? Yeah. Well, skunk is off. I finally, <laughs> finally got my first fish of the day. Hope oh, the fly came right out. Yo, he's got some gnarly choppers on him. He does. That's a sick fish, man. So tell the folks at home what that fish is. That is a cut bow. Looks like a rainbow, but it's got the little red marks on the bottom side of his gills, which I can show you here. Yeah, let's get a look at that which with those little red marks, he is a cut bow because without him, he looks like a regular rainbow. Beautiful RPT. fish though. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That was man. a fun little fight he put up. Yeah. All right. All right, well, Skunk is off. You wanna see him back? Yeah, let's see him back. Hey, bro. I got some fishy nooks. Fishy. Skunk off nuts. fishy knocks, baby. Let's go. <laughs> this is another Rainbow Warrior style fly. Tungsten bead, a little bit smaller though, and a much sturdier hook. And that's what we got that last one on. Well, this little Debbie wanted to be on the Shamu cam. He came straight up and out of the water. That is so cool. Let's see him back. Hey, you hey. go. Little Debbie. You missed. <laughs> ah, what? What is that? That is an adjustable dry dropper, folks. And that's what we got him on. Too cheeky. Too cheeky. Chunk of grass is kind of giving me issues though. Yeah, that chunk of grass is gonna be hard to get around. Yeah, like right there, it's pretty close. I'll do it. Nice. 
No, a little Debbie. What is that? Can't say I've ever caught a little brown trout that looks like that. He's got a goofy looking tail. He's got a frostbite tail. <laughs> but it's cool how the red spots still show. That's amazing. Well, thank you for eating my, my nymph there, buddy. We'll send him back. See ya. Now I gotta say, it is extremely satisfying when you can go into a run, catch a fish on your dry, roll up, and catch a fish on your drop. A little bit, uh, a little bit beat up there, man. These fish are loving this Rainbow Warrior. We might have to switch up again. Now, of course, catching fish is the ultimate goal on a day like today, but sometimes, especially when the fishing's good, it can be just as fun to sit back and study the fish and just watch and see what they do. Well, we found something cool, so we're gonna go on a side quest to see what this little tributary runs to. We're going trout hunting. Very, very quiet. Get him out of there. You got heavy enough tippet. That's a great fish, dude. I'll get the net. There he goes. Be careful, be careful. This is squirrely. Yeah, dude, that's a chonker. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, you casted it right before I hit play, man. I missed the hook, so. Oh, that's okay. All right. Man, he smoked the <laughs> hopper, too. Would you say Texas toast? Oh, this boy <laughs> is A1 Texas Roadhouse Texas toast. <laughs> nice close up of him. Great fish, buddy. Woo! It's a good fish. On the dry too. On the dry draw for that. <laughs> uh, he's he smoked the dry just right there along the grass. And you guys saw he actually went up under the grass, had to fight him up out of there. That was an epic fight. Uh, oh, that was fun. <laughs> That's why we came here. That's why we came, baby. Woo! Let's give us give us one more cheeky two on this boy before we let him off. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a real good boy. Alright. Well, let's let him off. Yep. <laughs> That's certified Woo. USDA fishy knocks right there, buddy. USDA. <laughs> Texas toast, baby. Yes. Let's go. Feels good, man. Dude, let's go. That's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot right there. Boy. I think that's what you want. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is called head hunting with hoppers. Well, and he's off. <laughs> that was an excellent fish, y'all. Woo! That is so money. So, what we've noticed is that today it's been a little bit warmer and there's been a lot more bug activity both in you know actual bugs living in the creek and terrestrials late fall well late summer excuse me in the back country is terrestrial season and i think i think the action's heating up man <laughs> that was a donkey that was a big fish that was a donk donk 
That's some Texas toast right but there. But don't Yeah, he did give it the Texas toast. That was awesome. Well, yeah, got, got to finish with the fishy nucks. Hell yeah. <laughs> Beans? Dude, 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 we gotta go get some film of that. They're coming up like crazy. Crossing, come on. Okay, so we've rolled to this run, and it is busting. There are fish going left, right, center. They're popping off. It's crazy. You don't see this much. Holy cow, this is this is really exciting. This could be some big, hungry fish. Yeah. Okay, okay. He is active. He is active, active, active. He's hungry. I think that's a cutthroat. I'm trying, I'm trying. Just stay with him. Oh my god! Yo! There we go, folks. That is too cheeky. Let's send him back. Give me some fishy knocks, boy! Boom! Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> well, Mike, we got a lot of slippery boys. You want to activate Chomp Cam? I think, I think we're going to start a new segment here where I'm going to activate Chomp Cam. I'm calling my shot. I think there's Mondo's in here. Well, let's get it. Let's get it. I don't care if you've got the nicest rod, the best line, and you think you got a half decent double haul. Let me tell you this, folks casting headfirst into the wind, it absolutely sucks, and it can be quite frustrating at times. As a result, no chomp cam. Set the hook. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kowalski, that's a chonk. That's a good fish. Don't let her go. Don't let her go. Don't let her go. Dude, that's a good fish. Do you want me to net her? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> Yo, that's a good dry that's fly fish. fish. Holy sh Dude. That was a fun fight. Hey Kowalski, set the hook. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I was looking upstream because I thought <sighs> it was a bad cast. Dude, that was epic. Oh. That was freaking epic. That's a good fish. Basket of butter. That's a good fish. That's a great fish, man. That's a good fish. That's some Texas toast right that's there. That's some Texas toast. Oh, let's go. Woo. You can probably grip his tail. He's big enough to grip his tail that's good. That's what I was trying to do. G1-2 on that's that boy! One. That's the one, dude. That's the freaking yeah, let's shot. let's go. <laughs> that's a good fish. Holy cow. Doggy, that's a big fish. That's a good boy. All right, let's get him on pin. What do you say? Yeah. I got pliers on me if you need them. Oh, no, he should come out real easy. Brother, 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 brother. Things brother. are good today. Yeah, dude. Ah, let's go. <laughs> this wind is really fucking me up, man. Yeah, it's blowing pretty hard. You're casting straight into it. Yeah, now the wind just completely dies down. That's a good cast. Oh my god. Get 
Yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about. That's a nice fish. <laughs> he was an acrobat for sure. Jesus. He was. I'd say this is about uh, AVG on the day. He's a flop boy. Quite the acrobat of a fish. Did you see him jump? That was insane. Yeah. But we can uh, let him go. Is he next? Always. Oh, he is so aggressive. He's I'm just going to keep it zoomed in on the spot. What the f is that? Do better. He took it. He fing took it. He took it? He took it. What just happened there? <sighs> Big fish took my fly. And he took it out. Oh my god, he took the whole kit and caboodle. I had all that fucking line on there. Jesus Christ, these fish are aggressive. Ha! There you go. Not the Trumpasaurus Rex we were after, but that's a nice fish. It's a good boy. Another hopper eater. <sighs> Missed a big one. <laughs> All right, that should pop right out. See ya. See ya, see ya. All right, man. That's good stuff. Who's next? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> I fell in a hole. Where are you? I don't know. Oh my God. Uh, you got eight. Nowhere. You got eight, boy. <laughs> Damn. Did I step over it? You stepped right over it. <laughs> Like, I stepped like right where you stepped. I haven't been just like. Oh my god. Barely short. That's a, a stream like this is seriously so special. It, it's so rare that you can turn the bend and see multiple trophy fish stacked up in the run, just absolutely munching down. I mean, stuff like this does not happen every day. But you always have to remember. Just because you can see them, doesn't exactly mean you can get them to eat. You gotta do everything right, and even then, you can still be a little short on luck. Nice fish. That's a nice fish. Well, it's been a little bit since our last fish, but we finally got one. We had to work that run pretty hard. Yeah. I was getting kind of frustrated. The wind is... It's picking up. The wind is tough. So, but we, we got a nice little brown to brown. Woo, man. Buddy, that's good stuff. See ya. Thank you. Yeah, Fishy buddy. Ducks, Bow. Baby. Good stuff. Was a good fish. Oh, you went up the bottom, boy. Really? Yeah. We made the right choice. That's upsetting. Yo, he tore the round board too. There we go. Now hook it like a man. It's. I think we got him. This was probably half the size of that other one. Still a good boy though. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I think we're getting a little like spoiled. We're those guys. Yeah, we're those guys. <laughs> we're becoming those guys. Well, here is my consolation prize. Still just an absolute gorgeous. I mean, healthy fish. That's a great fish. Came up for the uh, the Adams. We switched to an Adams gray. So, we'll see him back. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, fishing next, boy. Shkaw. That is one busted up. That's after two fish. Just two fish. Well, one was like a freaking tank. <laughs> <laughs> but still, looks like we need to switch up. When can I eat that boy up? There you go. Big clean drift.
There you go. I think it's a monster, but it's a fish. He's fighting good. Jesus. Still a good fish. Still a good fish. But still, he went after that Adams, just like that last one. They must be they must be digging on mayflies right now. Must be some sort of hatch, but we'll uh, get one last look at him and send him on back. Bye. Fishy nuts, boy. Nice. With the long distance requirements, coupled with the really nasty wind, Kowalski was very generous with allowing me to stab at multiple runs in a row, even after catching fish. There you go. It's a good fish. That's a good fish. He didn't like that. That I wanted to see. Thank you. There you go. Fuck yeah, dude. That's a good fish. That's a great fish. That's a good fish. On the dry fly too. Did you see him come up like it was nothing? He came up. Dude, he yomped it. Smacked it. What? Like Texas toast? Well, that great Adams done did it again. That was a killer fight. Did you see him running? Eight ball corner pocket. Pops out. Can get one more cheeky look at him. That's a sweet fish. All right. Give some cool. See ya. Yeah, Yay. buddy. <laughs> we did it. Give <laughs> some fishy. Yo! All right, you're it was starting to become more and more evident that our bite window was slowly coming to a close. We were having to work twice as hard for half the bites. And I think. It could be safe to say we had fallen into the afternoon grind. No! Stop! Well, any fish that were there are now spooked. No, don't do that! Guys, quit! For real, I'm not kidding, quit! No! You gal! This is... This isn't the first time today. Screw you guys. Good cast though. Uh -huh. They just said straight up like, fuck you and your run. Well then they're gonna do it again. They're gonna cross over there too. Like they're literally gonna have to cross, like. What, what was the point of Not me. Did you spook a boy? Spook a boy. It's your boy. The havoc. Man. There you go. Keep him set, keep him set. I'm trying. It's a good fish. It's a deep boy. Yeah, there. Good That's fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Well, that is a hopper muncher through and through. What a what a great fish. All these fish are just stack alike. Look at the dims on that boy. Valley grass was starting to turn gold and the cows were making their way home. In a final attempt to throw the rest of the kitchen sink at these fish, we tied on some streamers. Streamers, I might add, that were tied by one of our signature tires on the Discord. So, shout out to you, Oliver. Those were some crispy, crispy boys. But, unfortunately, it was a strike one. Strip, strip, strip. Aggressive, aggressive. Oh. Kowalski! Strike two. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, there was a follow. Oh! Strike three. 
we were out. <laughs> well, out of luck, that is. We really struggled to pull something together in the last hours of this day, but you know what? We knew when to tang up our hats and maybe make our way home. <sighs> Man, we got worked this afternoon. I feel like a crispy burnt potato that doesn't know how to catch fish. All right, it started off so good this morning. We caught some chonkers right mm. after, like every run, we were pulling out massive fish. And well, then, we could pattern them. We knew what they were doing in the riffles and the runs, dry dropper. Dropper was hitting good. And then we could actually see a ton of fish rising. I'm quite amazed at a day like today, a warm, September evening, they're not just going gangbusters on all the hoppers and ants and all the terrestrials that are kind of heading out the door, man. It's yeah, just they're just they're just dead. We're doing the same thing we were this morning. Yeah. They weren't giving it, weren't even looking at any. We threw our entire fly box at them, <laughs> pretty and much, and they didn't even give it a look. No, and that's uh, that's why we went to Streamer Boys in the last few hours and had some looks. That was fun, it but. Was fun. Yeah, I think we need to call it here. It's uh, you can bang your head against the wall for an extra what hour, or you can maybe head back to camp, get some hot food, and <laughs> game plan for well, the last half of meeting. Yeah, so well, let's get it. Let's get it. When I say crispy potato, I meant it. Are you folks seeing this tan line? That is like strawberry meets vanilla ice cream. That is. That is crispy. Crispy. What? What? What are you about to do? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> that was really cool. You gotta love when that happens. Well, Mike, it's dinner time. And that means camp is winding down. We're gonna watch this fire burn out, finish our food, and then off to, off to Slumberland. Yeah, it, it was a great day. We caught a lot of great fish. Slow afternoon, but we can't complain with the morning we had. Yep, so we're gonna be signing out. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow, so folks, wherever you find yourself, you gotta make sure to keep those dang feet in the water. And until next time, tight lines. We were up and we were at him. We're tired. N no. <laughs> <laughs> we're ready to go, man. Got a knot. We got a lot of packing to do. Got to get the tent broken down. Everything's freaking wet because it's morning in the mountains. But we're making it work. We're going to try and get out of here ASAP, Rocky. Get some eight mile hike in. Yeehaw. And then get another four mile hike in. Ye Yeehaw. Maybe get some fishing in. I'd like that. So. All right, man. Stay tuned. Yeah. Roll the B-roll. I think we should have everything else. I'll shove my sleeping bag in my back or my tent bag. Whoa, 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 dude, 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 do you see that? Do you see that over there? What is it? Dude. Whoa. Look at all those shameless plugs. That's sick. Subscribe. Like and subscribe, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Thank you.
With some jelly legs and aching backs, we flew down the mountain in no time flat. The oasis that is my little black truck was a welcome sight to sore eyes after a few days of roughing it. The promise of sponge baths and PBJs might have been the perfect motivation to get us up and off of that trail. But with that sun sitting high, we clearly had no time to waste. And we were back in the truck, flying down the road with high hopes and full bellies, ready to take on anything that came in our path. Well, we're here at wherever we're at. <laughs> we got a shorter hike today in. We already hiked out of the other one. So hopefully we can get there. And it's a lot of people at the parking lot right now. But I'm assuming most of them are elk hunters since it's like opening week and it's a holiday. So hopefully we don't run into too many fishermen and we can go catch some mondos. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Grass noodle. Grass noodle. Mr. Man. Pick you up but I don't have The miles are starting to rack up, man. We have made it to our campsite. We've got a little bit of work to do. We gotta clear some stuff. We are on this amazing ridge. We'll show you in a minute, but we're uh, <laughs> we're moving a bit slow. We've got some camp to set up and hopefully we can hit that evening bite here soon. What do you think? Say, I'm, I'm used to Kansas. Um, we don't have a lot of mountains. <laughs> You're not in Kansas anymore, bud. I'm struggling just a little bit, but we're getting it. <laughs> like I said, the miles are adding up if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Got the campsite, got the gear tent, got the tarp drying out, and then way back there, right there, is our bear spray. Oh, and we can't forget about Kowalski. We got the rods. We're ready to go fishing. This is gonna be an evening scout, kind of a mid-afternoon, evening bite. Gonna March down there and fingers crossed we can make something happen. Yep, so let's go have some fun. Let's go. Up until this point, things were going pretty smooth, all things considered. I mean, the hike was rough and the hike in, you know, we were tired. That's just what it was. But this is where things really started to go downhill and it kind of all started with the fishing. And for a little bit of background of where we actually were, we were sitting on a major tributary of a major drainage here in Southern Colorado. And I've fished this tributary before, so I knew there were big fish in here. The only problem was, is we were situated about three miles downstream of where I'd started the time I'd gone fishing there. The further downstream we went, each crystal clear run and super deep pool, I mean, it looked super, super fishy. The only issue was, each of them was shockingly lacking in the fish department. It was unbelievable. This is why we do what we do, folks. This is why we meet, Hank. These last three runs have been a grind and I don't see any fish. So we're gonna book it further up north where we know, I mean, there should be fish. I know I've okay. caught, caught them there before. So this canyon has done us dirty and I think it's time to, uh, yeah, switcheroo, try something else and hike more, yay. Yay more hiking. Woo! <laughs> and because of that, I was actually able to spot the first fish of the day, which I'll show now. Yes! Get him in, get him in! Yeah! Go no here! Stuck. Let's ah. go! Yes! Oh man, we were scared for a minute. Dude, I thought today was gonna be a total round. That's a nice fish. That's Thank a good you, fish round. Gods. Thank you! There is, there are fish gods in the world. 
We were panicking, folks. We were we were 100% panicking. It was big scary. It was big scary. But this little feller, this little Conejo's Brown won a little ant action. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, what a beauty. That's fantastic. We'll make sure to get that boy unpinnied here. Can we get one more cheeky two on the boy? Cheeky two, three, four. All right, ready? That's a great fish. It's a beautiful fish. Especially <laughs> the grindy grind we've been working with. All right, you wanna see him? Yeah, let's let him go. Thanks, buddy. I miss you. Now that little brownie brown was a welcome sight. You know, a full day of working to get on some fish. The only problem was is that that ended up being the only fish of the day. It gave us a little, little spark of hope, but then soon after it was snuffed out. And, Kowalski and I kept moving upstream and we tried our darndest to get on some fish, but it just was not happening. And with a little bit of sunlight left, we decided it'd probably be a better idea to double back, go back to camp, and just rest up for the day to come because the next day was going to be our last full final send. But remember earlier when I said this was just the beginning? Well, this was just the beginning. The mighty heroes have been humbled, to say the least. We are... Uh... I would say at a low point in morale, humbled might be the better word. Zooted. Zooted. Mega zooted. It, uh, it doesn't really show through, but the miles are starting to, uh, they're starting to add up. So with one fish and tough water, we decided to call, call it there, losses, and maybe get a head start on tomorrow. What's the game plan for tomorrow? I'm gonna get up, crack a dawn, mm -hmm and just bust it up to the canyon. Because I've fished one of the canyons before. We're gonna start where I ended and go into the next canyon. Because in theory, the fish aren't going anywhere, hopefully. <laughs> so what we gotta do now, basic camp stuff. You hungry? I eat, yeah. get some water. Definitely water. And probably bed. Up and yeah, sleep. Don't think we're gonna do a fire tonight. We're on this pretty amazing bluff. We're going to watch the sky turn pink and probably shut our eyes soon after. So yeah, stick around. We'll keep you updated and let's get some dinner going. Oh yeah. Things are all situated. I've got all my charging gear and food making stuff ready to go. Kowalski's back at the tent right now. He's just resting his legs and I think I'm going to get started on dinner and watch this beautiful, beautiful sunset across the, across this whole valley. So you can think that you're doing everything right, taking all the right precautions and all the right steps to make sure that you and whoever you're with is safe and healthy. But sometimes it's just bad luck. Things happen. As I was getting dinner all prepped, I had this, I don't know, it was this inkling feeling that something might be up. It was not like Kowalski to one, miss cooking dinner and two, to be taking a nap. I mean, we were college roommates. I never knew him to take naps, so it just seemed a bit strange. And then I recalled a couple of times where he just looked super pale in the face, or we stopped an extra couple of times for him to use the restroom along the way. And at the time, it didn't really register, but now I just felt like something was off. But soon after dinner was ready, we sat and watched that sunset, and Kowalski seemed pretty fine. He ate most of his meal. And we just kind of sat and talked, and he seemed a little bit more peppy after a nice nap, which was comforting on my end. But it wasn't soon after we fell asleep, after it had gotten nice and dark and started to get cold, that I heard some fumblings around 10 p.m. Frantic hands, fumble with the tent zipper, and I was met with the crisp mountain air and the sound of poor Kowalski yakking his guts out. This happened exactly again one hour later at 11 p.m. There are so many variables you have to consider when it comes to somebody getting sick in the backcountry. After the first time he threw up, I grilled Kowalski hard to gain a full picture of his symptoms, as best as possible, of course. Questions like, what did you throw up? Where did you throw up? Are you hot? Are you cold? Does your head hurt? Does your skin itch? Are you dizzy? Can you see? I'll tell you what, folks, a lot was running through my head because this entire time, this whole meat hang, we had been eating and drinking the same exact things. Our regiment was almost identical. 
So as I tried to force Kowalski to drink a little water, my thoughts shifted. An absolute laundry list of common waterborne diseases started running through my head. I thought, is this going to hit me? Is he getting worse? Is he getting better? Can I carry him out in the dark? Can we pack out if he's too sick? How much water did he lose? Where's the closest hospital? Can we pack out in the dark? Where do we fill up water last? What do we eat last? But luckily for us, his system was purged. His condition stabilized, but it was clear he was fighting something nasty. The decision was made. Meat hang, it was over. It was a sleepless night waiting on the sun to illuminate our path. Bacterial gastroenteritis. That was the ER doctor's conclusion. Symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, high fever, and dehydration. Sounds about right. Somewhere along the way, Kowalski had picked up this nasty bug from the water we were drinking. We'd been using iodine pills to purify all our water throughout this trip, and I'd been using iodine this entire summer and hadn't had any issues. Our best guess is that somehow, the bad water had either gotten on the lid or the rim of his water bottle, so everything inside was good, but where his lips touched, not so much. Two weeks of fighting this thing and just pure suck every step of the way, Kowalski had almost lost 20 pounds. Pounds he didn't really have to lose. Make no mistake, folks, Kowalski is one of the toughest guys I know. Even though he felt like death, we packed up camp and hiked out right as the sun came up that next morning. You'd hear the occasional call of the crow or crunch of morning frost, but one thing you didn't hear was Kowalski complaining. Not a flippin' chance. Slowly but surely, we slugged our way and made it to the trailhead. Meat hang was officially over. Having to pull the plug on a trip like this a few days early, I mean, there's no two ways around it. It sucks. And we both put in so much work to make this shindig happen. It just, it kills me when I know that the rug was basically pulled out from under us. And that sort of thing can cloud the perception, especially of a trip of this magnitude. It's always so easy to look at the coulda, the shoulda, the woulda in a situation like this. But instead of dwelling, on what didn't happen, Kowalski and I decided to reminisce on the accomplishments, everything that we did in the time we were given. And holy cow, this was a trip of a lifetime. The super gnarly hikes mixed with the challenges of chasing trophy trout makes for an extreme challenge. So when you actually find success, it literally means the world. And yeah, that's why we get so stoked, you know? I mean, how many times in your life do you and your best friend share an entire valley filled with world-class trout for a few days? And oh, by the way, have it all to yourself. I mean, it was, it was truly incredible. The most important thing though, is that this was our third meat hang. And you know what they say? <laughs> third time is truly the charm. This was now a tradition. Now, where exactly the next meat hang will be? I think that remains a mystery for now. One thing I do know, is that wherever we end up, there's gonna be no shortage of laughs. And action part in the. Ah! Hi! Oh, it's locked. <laughs> oh, no! It's daddy here, right? We're talking about daddy. Saw it. How's that ass crack? Is that good? Is that good stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, are you filming too? I'm filming too. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 we no. We have so much fun. No. <laughs> hey, is there anything you wanna tell? Your fans at final season? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Oh boy, howdy, Kowalski. It looks like they made it to the end of the video. That's pretty nice. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you for finding our content interesting. We're just a couple of goons having fun, putting some stuff together, and we're glad you like it. And if you're following along, really enjoying this whole, whatever this is. <laughs> the final season community. We got two things for you. First and foremost, being the Instagram, you know, fishy pics. We do giveaways. I'm always willing to talk, so hit me up. I, I love talking with y'all. And the second thing, pretty, I would say pretty big, is the Discord. If you want to become a part of the Fly All Season community and really get to know everyone else involved, 
please join the Discord. We got almost 300 people in there, and we're talking flies. We're talking, you I mean, know, different fishing you spots all around the world. We have people from New Zealand, from Maine, Colorado, all the way to California. Europe, I think. I mean, it's, we got some Europe guys from it's France. It's so cool. <laughs> so, yeah, hop in the Discord, join the community, and yeah, let's talk some fly fishing. You better hop in quick, cause word on the street is. is File season's got some pretty neat stuff coming down the pipe. And those Discord peeps, <laughs> they get... They're the OGs. They, they get the first notice, yeah. so... But with that, we gotta keep running up this, this canyon before the light dissipates. So, folks, whenever you make your way to the great state of Colorado, or wherever you find yourself, make sure to keep those feet in the water. And until next time, tight lines. Bye.